Well, the Pfizer COVID vaccine is now approved for use in children ages 12 to 15. The CDC gave the official green light less than 24 hours ago. And Moderna and Pfizer are currently testing their vaccine in children as young as six months old. The shots to young teens will be given out at pharmacies, hospitals, and community health centers. But your family's pediatrician will also be key in the effort to get those shots into the arms of kids. Even before the arrival of the COVID vaccine, the pandemic accelerated the problem of children missing out on routine childhood vaccinations. And now your pediatrician is trying to help families catch up on those normal kid shots while working the COVID vaccine into the mix. Five-year-old Emma is finishing up her first year of school. She has about 22 days left in kindergarten. She's, she is a lot of fun, doing really well in school. She loves school. That's Emma's mom, Anne, who says as a part of getting ready for school, Emma is up to date on her routine childhood vaccinations. And right after she turned four, she got her last series. So she is good until she's 11. But an alarming number of Michigan children are not. By May of 2020, and fueled in part by the pandemic, the number of Michigan two-year-olds up to date on their shots declined to less than 50%, according to the CDC. Visits to pediatricians are down nationwide during the pandemic. CDC orders for childhood vaccinations dropped by about 11 million doses, a substantial and historic decline. And that's a cause for concern, according to Dr. Scott Grant, a pediatrician at DMC Children's Hospital, Dr. Grant says he's seeing that drop off here in Metro Detroit a year into the pandemic and we're still playing catch up. Some of these vaccines occur in series. And so when you miss the first dose or the second dose, then when we finally get you back in, we get you that dose. But then there may be additional doses that that we have to then bring you back in for. That increases the risk families won't return to complete the series and reduces vaccine coverage and herd immunity, opening the door to other viruses while we're fighting COVID. Even before the pandemic, we saw outbreaks of things like measles in a lot of different states across the country. Uh, and so, you know, that's certainly something we want to prevent. There are protocols to get back on track, but that'll be complicated by the COVID vaccine. The CDC recommends against giving the COVID shot within 14 days of any other vaccine. And since the Pfizer shot requires two doses three weeks apart, for children 12 to 15, that's a seven-week window where the COVID shot is competing with other vaccines. That's at a time when kids might be given the Tdap shot to inoculate against tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis, the meningococcal vaccine to fight bacterial meningitis, and the HPV vaccine to fight against a virus linked to cervical cancer. At best, it's additional trips to the doctor's office. At worst, those vaccines may just be missed. And it gets more complicated when younger children are approved for the COVID vaccine since they receive more of these routine shots. For now, pediatricians are urging families to come back in and get caught up on vaccinations. Emma's mom, Ann, says it's safe to go in. Parents don't really need to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. And those vaccines are so important to keep their kids safe. It's so, so important. Dr. Grant says it is important, but not just for the shots, but for checkups for the body and mind. There's certainly a lot of depression, anxiety, those kinds of things. Pediatricians can help with that. So when will children like five-year-old Emma be eligible to receive the vaccine? Well, it looks like it'll be a while. Children younger than six may not be eligible for a COVID vaccine until early 2022. That's according to CDC Director Walensky. And we'll move to younger and younger groups as the safety studies are complete. Either way, pediatricians will be playing catch up with those routine vaccines while trying to work that COVID shot into the mix in a growing number of children.